Alright guys, we're all Russell here and this and it is Friday, sorry, and it is Friday today which means we are one day before SummerSlam weekend begins and of course on Saturday night we do, or tomorrow night, we do have NXT TakeOver Brooklyn um, there are six matches scheduled, there are six matches scheduled on the three hour events which is the first event to actually be three hours, uh, NXT event I mean and it's also the first one to take place outside of Full Sail University. So it's a big event, probably the biggest in NXT history. And that's why there's some big matches on the card. Um, there are six matches scheduled, uh, and there's another four which are scheduled for next week's NXT. I'm not going to predict those. Um, I'm just going to predict the ones on the main card. Uh, and I feel it's actually a fairly predictable show. So let's start with Apollo Crews versus Ty Dillinger. Um, when I was predicting... I was going to predict this really early, and before Apollo Crews' opponent had actually been announced, I was going to say that it would be Ty Dillinger, so I actually, yeah, I know the jobbers. Uh, Apollo Crews is going to win, uh, I think his name, oh, was it, is it Uination, something like that, Uination, something like that. But um, big indie guy, I assume, and uh, he seems pretty cool. Um, I'm looking forward to seeing him debut, maybe... Reminds me a bit of Shelton Benjamin, maybe. Is he a powerhouse? I don't know much about him, so I'm, I'm really intrigued. But put your money on Apollo Crews, 100% to beat Ty Dillinger. Alright, the next match is probably the hardest on the card to predict. And it is Baron Corbin taking on Samoa Joe. Now, both men undefeated in NXT, so it's going to be a big win for either one. Uh, but in the end, I see Baron Corbin picking up the victory using some sort of dirty tactics it's not going to be an absolute destruction like it is with all of his other opponents and that's why Corbin was boring to me I think that he got boring because his opponents were just you know 10 second matches and especially once when it was actually someone like Jesse Sorensen who deserved so much better and Smojo is gonna Smojo and Corbin are gonna have a fight I'm not expecting the best match ever I'm expecting a decent one at best but Corbin on pay-per-view so far, you know, we had the one with Bull Dempsey, which wasn't very good, and then the one with Rhino, which wasn't too good. But um, this one should be probably Baron Corbin's best match. I'm not particularly looking forward to it, but who knows? I mean, but my money is on Baron Corbin to win with the end of the days. Okay, so NXT Women's Championship, Sasha Banks versus Bayley. And again, I'm absolutely confident Bailey is going to be winning the NXT Women's title, and I'm going to mark out because I've been a fan of Bailey for so long. I've loved her in NXT. I think that she's just so entertaining. She reminds me a lot of A Day. She's like that cute little adorable diva who's got some fire inside her, and she showed that in NXT actually this past week. So I definitely see Bailey picking up the NXT Women's title against Sasha Banks. The match should be epic. I think that these two are again the Divas division is so strong in NXT. Um, so, I mean, any of them could have great matches, but these two should have a particularly great match. I think the chemistry between them is there. I've seen it before, and um, Sasha Banks and Bailey are just going to absolutely nail it. And, um, yeah, I think Bailey's going to be winning the title, and I'm going to be marking out again really early in the morning. All right, moving on, we have Blake and Murphy, with Alexa Bliss, obviously, taking on the Vaude Villains for the NXT Tag Team Titles. And let's start by saying Alexa Bliss is a great heel. She's very easy to dislike. The red outfit and stuff makes me hate her even more, to be honest. It's, you know, it's evil colours. Uh, she's just such a great heel, and she's such a, a contrast to the Vaude Villains. The Vaude Villains are these very sort of uh, honourable men. Obviously, as you saw, they wouldn't hit her. They'd let her get out of the rig first. And Alexa Bliss is just, she smacked them, and I was just like, that's so good. That is such a great heel tactic. And that's what I love about this feud. I think the Vod Villains and Blake and Murphy are having a really entertaining feud. They had a really good match a few weeks ago in NXT, where obviously Blake and Murphy retained. And I see the Vod Villains picking up the victory and becoming the tag team champions. And me and one of my friends absolutely love the Vod Villains. Um, how will the Vod Villains counteract Alexa Bliss? I see there's a few things happening. I believe that uh, Shaul Guerrero who was Raquel Diaz on NXT, is the wife of Aiden English. Or is she engaged or something? Obviously, Shaw Guerrero is the uh, the daughter of the late, great Eddie Guerrero, so rest in peace, Eddie. But um, I see maybe Shaw Guerrero helping uh, the Vaude Villains out against Alexa Bliss and Blake and Murphy. Or possibly Blue Pants. I think because Blue Pants is so over, they could capitalise on that. 
Uh, the other Divas, there's no one else that really could do it. I mean, Carmel is, of course, with Enzo and Cass. Uh, and again, you know, yeah, there's no one else. I mean, Cassie, not really. So, yeah, I'd probably say Blue Pants or Shaw Guerrero, Raquel Diaz, to um, help the Void Villains pick up the victory against Blake and Murphy. And it should be a really good match. I like both teams. I think they've got good chemistry together. And I hope Blake and Murphy come up and give some much-needed energy to the the main roster because it really needs it right now. I mean, the Lux Dragon, the, the Ascension came up and you know they got destroyed, and then the Lux Dragons came up and they didn't do much until SummerSlam where they're going to win the tag belts. I think, well, I hope. But um, yeah, I do hope Loki Murphy come up and make an impact on the main roster because I do think they're a fantastic team. And uh, if Alexa Bliss comes up with them, that's great. That really is. Uh, but that is sort of now leaving the NXT roster. With not many divas, you've got Eva Marie, Carmella, Bailey, uh, Dana Brooke. Who I really like Dana Brooke. She's pretty good. So um, I mean, if Alexa should go up with them, to be honest, but I don't know. We'll see. Uh, fifth match on the card, probably the uh, the match most people are excited for. Uh, Jasheen Thunder Liger taking on Tyler Breeze. Uh, people are torn on this one. I think they think that. Because it's Liger's first match, uh, he should his debut match. He should get the win, but I see it really being uh, a Tyler Breeze victory. I think Liger's being brought in to show how incredible uh, Tyler Breeze is. Liger, of course, is one of the great legends. That Liger to me is probably the greatest wrestler that never wrestled in the WWE because, of course, Sting has now. So I mean, I I love Liger. I think he's amazing. I've seen some matches of him and uh, Chris Benoit as the Pegasus Kid. So, I mean, that's great. Tyler Breeze and uh, Jashin Thunder Liger are going to have a great match. And uh, But in the end, I do see Tyler Breeze hitting him with a supermodel kick and a beauty shot and pulling out the victory. But um, don't be su- I mean, don't be surprised if Liger wins, but I, I do think that Tyler Breeze will win. I think that he would gain more from it. I mean, Liger doesn't get much from beating Tyler, Tyler Breeze. So I, I do think that Tyler Breeze needs to win. Well, he doesn't need it. I just think... I mean, being in a Tyler Breeze in a match with Liger is huge anyway, but it'd be nice if Tyler Breeze got the win. And that's why I'm going to go with Tyler Breeze to pick up the victory over Jasheen from the Liger. And the main event for the NXT Championship, Kevin Owens versus Finn Balor in a ladder match. Uh, Balor's going to retain because I think Owens is going to beat Cesaro at SummerSlam. I said that in my SummerSlam predictions. If you haven't watched it, check it out. Um... How Balor will retain is, uh, you know, up in the air, I think. Uh, I th- Maybe someone could get involved on Finn Balor's behalf. Maybe Cesaro could get involved on Finn Balor's ha- uh, behalf. There's always Hideo Itami, Sami Zayn. There's a few guys who could come back and really help Finn Balor beat Kevin Owens. Uh, Kevin Owens doesn't have any, like, alliances, really. Um, well, and Finn Balor, well, Finn Balor doesn't have alliances with Zayn or Cesaro or Hideo Itami. But, you know, they, they have rage for Kevin Owens. So, uh, I do think maybe one of those could, could screw Owens. I, w- I don't want them to. I would like to see Sami Zayn, if I'm honest, actually. So, Sami Zayn would be nice. And, well, Hideo would be nice, too. I don't think Cesaro really needs to be there. But, um, I do see Finn Balor winning and retaining the NXT Championship. This should be a fantastic matchup. There's a few matches on here that could just be matches of the night. There's three matches on here that could be matches of the night. And um, I'm absolutely looking forward to NXT TakeOver Brooklyn, guys. As you can tell by my uh, my voice. My voice is uh, pretty awful, actually. But, um, so yeah, that's the predictions. Uh, I hope you enjoy NXT TakeOver Brooklyn, because I know I am. And um, <laughs> thanks for watching, guys. Like, comment, and subscribe for more.